Oh, man. Well, in middle school, I was on my volleyball team, mm -hmm. and the coach really liked improv. And she brought the team to our comedy sports uh, club in, in downtown Indianapolis. It's mm -hmm. like a short form improv. I remember seeing it and being like, whoa, this is magic. And then I auditioned for my high school improv team, made it, had to quit because it interfered with my show choir rehearsals, which was like very important to me at the time. Mm -hmm. And then in college, went back to improv and yeah, I, I saw the UCB, the Upper Citizens Brigade in, in New York. They have a touring company and they came to my college. I remember seeing them and thinking, I gotta go wherever they came from. And I did, I went to New York, uh, started doing UCB stuff, and that's where I started doing sketch and improv and stand up all at the same time. And just really like fell in hard. Yeah. Fell in love real hard and like was like, oh, this is what I wanna dedicate my time to. Yeah. I would say find a community of people. I did that at UCB. Uh, there are other places to do it too, but it's nice when you can find like-minded people who are in the same journey as mm -hmm. you are. And uh, also like, it's just fun to work with people. Like you can work by yourself, but it's just like fun to know what other people in your peer group are doing and, mm -hmm. and how are they doing it and how can they distribute it and how can you be seen. Um, also, like be comfortable knowing that you're gonna get a lot of no's mm -hmm. for a while. Some people don't, everyone's like timeline's different, but uh, yeah, I got years of no's. I'm still getting no's, mm -hmm. that'll never end. So, but, but as long as you uh, look at the no's as an opportunity for something new, as opposed to like taking it personally, you'll grow exponentially. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, thankfully, I think because people know I can improvise, mm -hmm. they will use that for their projects uh, if they want to, if they choose to. I have the tools, I have the bag, I brought it with me, so if they want me to break it out, I can. I feel very comfortable doing that. It's such a, a gift to be able to write on my feet and like know the character so well that I know what she would say in different scenarios. I think I have a lot of big picture ideas. Yeah. I have a lot of things I want to do. Like I want to continue being in movies. I want to write movies. I want to produce movies. I want to direct movies. I want to create TV shows. I want to um, keep being in comedy. Mm -hmm. I want to do more stand-up specials. I don't know, I just want to do a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. <laughs> Life's long and I'm going to do a lot in it. Yeah. You can chill out a little bit. Sure. I, I did, a, I worked a lot. Yeah. <laughs> I did so many things at the same time and uh, and I'm, now I'm so tired. <laughs> like the, the fatigue is catching up with me. Right. So I think I would have been like, you know what, you can just focus on the things that really excite you as opposed to stretching yourself thin and like doing all these things for other people. Because I would like do shows or videos because I was like, I'm just supposed to be busy, right? I'm supposed to like just take all the yeses and like sometimes uh, you're supposed to say yes, of course. You're supposed to say yes to all the opportunities, but also no is a really important word, mm -hmm. and knowing when to take care of yourself and preserve your energy and, uh, and just be picky with what you yeah. want and what you need in your career. Yeah.